Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppins Pregnant. Today, about to react to this vid. It's titled, Mr. Beast Caught Faking Charity Work. It's getting worse and worse. I feel like there are so many updates. I can't keep up. <laughs> but, yeah, everything is coming to light. And this man is getting exposed more and more by more and more people. So, yeah, he just wasn't who, you know, some of us thought he was interesting uh let, let's see what's going on now and how he was faking charity work let's watch photos and videos have been shared online from when mr beast filmed for his beast games show in las vegas this summer and reports are even saying that las vegas staff want him blacklisted from the industry oh. that and there's proof that has come out that's leading people like rosanna pancino and youtuber dogpack 404 to believe mr beast has been lying about so much like those times where he said he was poor, I mean, first of all, I don't know why anyone was believing that in the first place, but yes, he has called himself poor before. Not yet. Well, you are way oh, more rich true. than me, uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. We're going to get into that. Y'all think the most subscribed to channel on YouTube, all these hundreds and millions of views, you think he poor? I don't care how much charity work he was doing. You pocketing some of that money and you got to pay your your employees and shit like come on so you paying them but not yourself so you're you're this honorable man that you let everybody else get paid but you're poor come on and also the fact that he's been that cgi his charity work like this is crazy stuff we're gonna be talking about here you guys but in regards to the competition show News 3 recently reported on the situation, writing production staff and medics, many of whom oh, were Las Vegas based, told it. News 3 that they have worked on various productions in and outside of Nevada. Across their years and decades of experience, they have contributed to box office hits with big name celebrities, large scale reality shows, and other YouTube productions. As locals, they would often recognize each other from previous projects. They also wrote, it was by far the most unprofessional production I've ever been a part of, said Rick, a contestant wrangler who coordinated the contestants during the production. Mm. And I think the biggest part of that was the communication was terrible. The Las Vegas production confirmed that what was filmed there in July was for YouTube and it was episode zero of Beast Games where 2,000 contestants were fighting for a chance to be among the 1,000 contestants to advance to the main Amazon Prime video competition. It was reported that they filmed from July 18th to the 21st and the contestants were required to stay in the Allegiant Stadium field and sleep in sleeping bags during the extent of filming. News 3 reported That's there were crazy. about a dozen porta potties that were set up to accommodate 2,000 contestants. Dozen. And warning, I'm about to read something so disgusting, you guys, about the contestants' experience. News 3 reported, we had a guy come up to us with his sleeping bag, and his sleeping bag was covered in excrement, oh. said contestant regular Kara, on the third day of the competition. Oh. The contestant had slept near one of the portable restrooms on the stadium field, she continued, so that porta potty obviously overflowed, said That's Kara, disgusting. who only saw the portable restrooms emptied once throughout the production. According to Kara, a Mr. Beast producer ordered a contestant wrangler to clean the mess and threatened terminal when the worker expressed reluctance. The worker was not provided equipment or training on handling human waste, said Kara, who spoke with the extremely upset worker afterward. After searching the stadium for protective equipment, she said they found gloves without the producer's guidance. After that incident, oh, no. Kara said the Mr. Beast producer was reprimanded for their actions. Like, that's absolutely disgusting. I don't even have the words. What do you mean someone's sleeping bag got soaked in? Uh I can't, you guys. Like, how are these the conditions? Uh, it was also reported how staff had lost some of the contestants' personal items, such as medications they required, and how the whole production seemed so unorganized. I mean, obviously, if people are waking up and there's poop in their sleeping bag, like, yeah, definitely Making sounds unorganized. Making them sleep there already. I've already talked about the fact that the like, food what? also was a big complaint. A lot of the, the contestants were saying that the they were not fed enough, and the staff was rude. People that did get their medications needed to eat food with the medication and they were just not being accommodated properly and the entire thing just it seemed like they were so unprepared for what they were filming and it is currently the reason why Mr. Beast is being sued by contestants. 
Complex mm -hmm. has written coverage on the lawsuit and spoke to a lawyer over their claims, writing, Franklin Graves, a lawyer and founder of Creator Economy Law, told Complex that it's unsurprising that after all the news reports and contestant accounts that have come to light over the last couple of months, that we are now seeing the first and potentially not the last class action lawsuit of the production. He added that the 54-page suit alleges that the Las Vegas production doesn't align with the more experienced and kind of traditionally run reality show environment that we've come to expect from traditional media. Now, one creator who has been very vocal against Mr. Beast is Rosanna Pansino. She's recently decided to rebrand her YouTube channel in wake of all of this, and she took to her community page on YouTube recently to say, as you all know, a lot has been going on this month. Over the last few weeks, I've spoken with over 200 Beast Games 200? contestants, more than 50 current and former Mr. Beast employees, oh, as well as other 50? people hurt and harassed by more companies. These conversations and all of your support have truly and they me all... to my core. I will not and cannot be the same person I was before. I can't remember if I ever talked about it, but I graduated with a bachelor's degree in communications, emphasis in journalism. Telling people stories has always been a vocational calling for me. My first internship was at Seattle's largest media company. But with my dyslexia, I simply felt like I couldn't excel in a fast-paced newsroom. That changed starting this year. You all taught me that because of YouTube and social media, I can tell the stories that are important to me. I can shine light on things that need to be seen and I can find my own voice. I'm still going to do the same fun videos I've always done on my main YouTube channel, but I'm also going to start speaking my mind about issues that are important to me. This is the new me moving That's forward. I will now be serving cookies and tea. Yes, she later tea. ended up posting a video oh, on her YouTube channel Jesus titled Mr. Beast is a criminal leaked video. Oh, and in the description she wrote, everything in this video is alleged. More info to come. Mr. Beast also has a criminal record, including being arrested for street racing at 122 miles per hour, which sounds like something that she's going to be addressing in the next video. But this video, this 30 minute long video went over Mr. Beast gambling, scams, his deceptive philanthropy, which was crazy to see how it seems footage of his efforts have been digitally altered and just wasn't called out until right now. But she was joined in crazy. this video by YouTuber Dogpack404, so who has been speaking out a ton, exposing Mr. Beast as he was a former employee at the company. Than but I he was. this stuff they were exposing you guys, crazy. The most bearing thing against Mr. Beast is that his faked parts of his philanthropy videos in a way where he's making it look like they did more than they actually did. Oh, I'll show you this uh, clip. Okay. And I want you to try to find out okay. what's wrong with it. All right. A few months ago, at the very top of a 9,000 foot mountain in a remote part of Nepal, That's this disgusting. hospital looked like this. That, that looks fake. Really? That looks fake. I love movies. I'm a movie buff. I watch them all the time. And I know when I see CGI, this does not look real. Yeah, no, I'm actually surprised you caught that. Most people didn't. But if you don't see the CGI at home, I'll point it out. This is the before shot of the hospital. This is the after shot. And the same thing over here. What I noticed is that Dan Mace, who's the director on Beast Philanthropy, did a behind the scenes video for this shoot where they build a hospital in Nepal or whatever. Mm -hmm. started off by getting the opening shots. I like to call these picky plant mash cuts. These are great because this, the building looks very different than shots like this. And, uh, you know, for one example, there's like moss growing here, which is... Yeah, it looks more decrepit Yeah, and it's like this the one. concrete's breaking down right here. There's like mm. holes in the roof. Uh, there's like all this random crap. But in the real shot, there's no moss. Yeah. There's no decrepit. Right here, you'll notice this pillar, two white lines right here. Same pillar, two white lines. There's a building behind it. So in this opening shot, huh. where Mr. B says, this is what the hospital looked like a month ago, they digitally removed the entire hospital. They also called out the no. fact that what he really did was add solar panels. Like, he did not rebuild that building. These pictures were used in news articles to show that Mr. Beast revitalizes Nepal Hospital, bringing vital services to thousands. What they actually did in the video was just install solar panels. They didn't build the hospital, but he made it seem like they did. And the danger with this is like, where do you draw the line? Right. Because if you're exaggerating- yeah, that's true. When, you're doing as a charity, mm -hmm. then you're taking attention and funding away from other charities who might be mm -hmm. more honest. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the only charitable video he seemed to be adding a little extra to. This secluded town in the middle of nowhere looked like this. You saw it? The building. 
Damn. It does okay. not look real. I think most people would not catch that on the yeah, first one. So for the people who couldn't spot it, um, well, look at how fake this tape looks. It, that's definitely a fake tape. Fake these flowers no. are. I'm sorry, I'm a girl. I know my flowers. Okay. No. 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 So, but I think there is <laughs> some know. part of a real building here. Uh -huh. But then they just use generative AI or, or you know editing or, or whatever to expand it because it's like there's things. Look at that. It's mo no. And then, like, the building here is, like, expanding. Rosanna and Dogpack404 had also called him out for the fact that Mr. Beast has this reputation of being this guy who makes a lot of money, but gives it all away, or yeah. uses that money and reinvests it into his YouTube videos, and he really downplays how much money he actually pockets. Like, he has literally called himself poor before, yet he's out here gambling hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he's able to invest this money into crypto, and he's very public about it. And using the details that he gave, I was actually able to find one of his specific crypto accounts. He goes by the name Wu-Tang Clan. So some notable things about this account, it was worth over $10 million in April of 2021. It seems like he's had millions of dollars to throw oh, around. Oh, he took advantage of that bull run in 2021. I thought that was a good time. I fumbled that so bad. <laughs> I'm not I'm trying not to fumble this this bull run because crypto is starting to go back up okay right now and people are excited and going crazy over it. I'm just like I just can't fumble this. Cause I, I kind of fumbled back in March too. Cause we we had we had a cool little run in March, but I got greedy and I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep everything in there because we don't keep going up, we're gonna keep going up. And then it just went back down. I was like, fuck, I should have sold. <laughs> so I'm trying not to make that mistake this time around. Ugh crypto space which is kind of strange considering that he account. claims to give all his money away and reinvest into the videos mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. we're not gambling degenerates like some people <laughs> but so are you one of the rich people they want to eat or are you i'm not that rich not yet you, I, you are way more rich than me uh, but i i give my money away i'm poor so he gives all of his money away he's poor rosanna also talked that he claims to give his money away but claims that in reality he's not even giving one percent of his money away oh. at least not to charity this clip he says i give all my money away i'm poor i don't know anybody who's poor who has tens of millions of dollars to throw around in crypto not one person in the time magazine article where he was interviewed called in the belly of the beast jimmy says that he brings in about 700 million dollars in revenue a year and jimmy donaldson defends his philanthropic work against charges of poverty profiteering by pointing out that it is funded by his main channel which sends the charity one hundred thousand dollars a month let's do a little bit of basic math so annual revenue 700 million and you're donating 100k to your charity every month what percentage is that what percentage of all of your revenue is donated to your charity out of all of the money that he makes he donates about 0.2% to charity, which I also want to remind everyone watching that donating that money is also a tax write-off. So when he says that he gives all of his money away, that is not true. She calls out the fact that he also said he's gone to the casino before with $100,000, which is it making him sound too poor? When he says he reinvests all the money into his videos, that is also not true. So Mr. Charity, Mr. 0.2%, let's see how else he's spending his money. Came here with $100,000 for $5 bills. And no <laughs> casino in all Vegas would accept it. No way. They all said no one's ever bought a hundred grand in $5 bills and they just thought it was fraudulent. And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. Here's me giving this random guy a million dollars. And they're like, still, no one should have this $5 bills. No, fraudulent. And they just, literally, they wouldn't take it. And so I had to like just, I was like, well, can you at least hold it back there? <laughs> so here he is saying that he went to a casino to gamble $100,000 in one night, the same amount of money that he donates to his charity in a month. Every week it just continues to get worse yeah. when it comes to Mr. Beast and still he is yet to comment on the situation, of only course, addressing yeah. claims that have been made against his Lunchly company in collaboration with KSI and Logan Paul. Wow, this is really disgusting. To embellish your charity work and make it seem like you're doing more or giving more than you actually are, it's really, really horrible behavior. And it, it really makes me question, you know, some of the videos where he said, oh, yeah, look, I got this video giving this homeless person this amount of money. It's like, is that a homeless person or is that a paid actor? You know, you have to question everything when, when you see, you know, these things that are taking place. And then the, the conditions of the beast games environment they had all of those contestants and making them sleep on the floor and sleeping bags if you can't 
cover their lodging, then you probably shouldn't have that many people if you can't even provide them with somewhere reasonable to sleep. You like y'all just sleep on the floor. Here goes some sleeping bags. You bought some porta potties and shit. And it's two thousand of y'all. We giving y'all twelve porta potties. Figure it out. That's that's fucked up. So yeah, it's getting worse and worse with this man. This is wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.